2007. That was the year when the average amount of installed RAM on a personal computer was 1 gigabyte. Now, almost 10 years later, 1 gigabyte of RAM seems absurd. We have computers the size of credit cards now that have that much RAM. Our phones have at least double that RAM nowadays. Even headphones are beginning to have that much RAM. Headphones. For listening to music. In a few years before 2007, in the 2001 era, 1 gigabyte of RAM was considered an extremely large amount of RAM. It would be equivalent to today's 32 gigabytes of RAM. It's more than the average person really needs. So how does the average amount of RAM from 2007 fare today, almost 10 years later? Well, not very well. This video was hell to make. So the most modern operating system in 2007 was Windows Vista. Most people are still using Windows XP, and that was considered essentially the standard. Windows XP could be run on as little as 32 megabytes of RAM. However, Windows XP usually used at least 100 megabytes of RAM to run, and that's just the operating system alone. That means you had about 900 megabytes of breathing room for games, web browsers, drivers, and pretty much anything you could possibly run on a computer. Now bringing it on to 2016, where most people are running Windows 10, and Windows 10 is also the newest operating system. Meaning if you have one gigabyte of RAM, you have 200 megabytes of breathing room at best. So you can see where this gets very painful. So the question is, what can you really do with that 200 megabytes of breathing room? Not much. When I was originally going to start testing this computer, I was planning on using Google Chrome because it's famous for being a RAM eater. That was a mistake. If you can't run a single 360p video in Google Chrome, you're pretty much screwed. I tried, and believe me, I tried to get things working on only one gigabyte of RAM. It didn't work. I did get a few games working. Not very well, and they're kind of older games, but they do function. So let's get into the benchmarks. Just kidding. See, I can't just throw one gigabyte of DDR3 RAM into my desktop computer. It uses DDR4 RAM, which no one produces one gigabyte sticks of. The newest computer that I could really use that could go down to one gigabyte of RAM is the computer behind me, which is a Core 2 Quad computer. And the thing is, I don't want to benchmark a CPU or GPU. I want there to be no bottlenecks so the one gigabyte of RAM can work up to its full potential. So I had to emulate Windows. I know that's not the best option, and I know a lot of errors can go wrong with that, but it's the best option I really had. It eliminated most of the GPU and CPU bottlenecking that would have been present with this computer, so I'm going to be testing with emulated Windows. So let's see how the few games I could get working actually ran. can't play 4K games on one gigabyte of RAM. What a shocker. But I was pretty surprised with how the results turned out. I mean, I expected nothing to run on this computer, but Minecraft actually did a somewhat good job with a lot of stuttering. And I'm sure if you have one gigabyte of RAM and you went to an older operating system like Windows XP, you'd be completely fine. Web browsing would be easy, you could run some older games, everything would be fine. But I just really wanted to test how one gigabyte of RAM fared in a modern situation. I also did test some simple things like word processing and web browsing on the Edge browser because that used less RAM. And actually, it's pretty usable for the most part, surprisingly. I could actually watch a few YouTube videos on 480p and edit some documents pretty decently. So I guess if all you really do is watch a few YouTube videos and use Word, one gigabyte of RAM could maybe work. There are better alternatives than Windows XP though if you have a computer with one gigabyte of RAM. You could try Linux Mint, or Ubuntu, or any of the other Linux distributions. Most of them are pretty lightweight. So what do you guys think about running a computer with one gigabyte of RAM? Do you think it's doable? Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.